Hello, I'm Kyler Cox and I was in your Foundations of Education class and I'm doing my video so I'm going to start with question one. And so um, my educational philosophy is really that I want to be an ag teacher and so that is not easy because you're constantly going on field trips, you're going um, on judging contest and you're seeing these kids all of the time. You're also teaching about a huge range of subjects. Um, what, why I really want to be an ag teacher is because I want these kids to have the same passion for agriculture that I do. Um, it's a very hands-on subject and these are skills that these kids will learn for a lifetime um, and use. Being an ag teacher, I want um, my kids to be able to talk to me about school stuff, personal stuff, FFA stuff, anything that um, they really need to. Going on to my heart of teaching. Um, so when I was in high school, I had a special um, teacher that I went and talked to um, on a daily basis about school, life, um, personal things. And that really showed me that, that this is what I want to do. I want to be in a school um, where I can uh, see kids all the time, be there for them personally, academically. Um, and this is where I got my heart of teaching. Um, being someone's support um, is really important for me because in high school that's what I really needed. I went through some really hard times and um, being an ag teacher, uh, I get to teach kids life skills that they will use um, for a lifetime. And that is also a special bond that many of my students I hope will come back to me and talk to me and tell me like how I helped them. Um, having a heart for teaching is super important. I had some teachers in high school that um, wanted to only do the job because it was a teaching job and they thought it was easy. Um, it was the easy way out and teaching is definitely not the easy way out. Um, teaching strategies and my growth through the semester. So I did not realize that lesson plans were actually pretty hard to make. Um, being able to have your activity and get all the information by in a timely manner can be hard. But it taught me time management and creativity. At one point, I had not even realized that you can do so much more than just a PowerPoint. Um, no lecturing I thought was going to be super hard. Um, it ended up not being that hard and it actually made the assignment and what I was doing more fun. It led me to learn more hands-on activities. When I did my teachings, I had um, I did one over agriculture and how to like test if eggs were good or not. And what was really cool for me was I learned some hands-on activities for that. I really liked how we randomized groups. Uh, I know that like lots of kids, especially high school students that I will be teaching, do not like to be put with some people or they're put with others and people think it's biased. But if you put them in randomized groups, then they really can't complain and they might end up actually being with people that they're not normally with. Um, and one thing is I don't think that my high school really helped me with um, or you know, helped me getting to college and knowing exactly what to do. In high school, I didn't have to do much. I didn't have to study or really take notes. And that's definitely not the case in high school or college. Um, and so this semester, I've really had to learn how to study. And by the end of the semester, towards, um, I really learned and got with an academic counselor and really helped. One of the most impactful things that we did this year, I feel, was our class facilitations. I got to um, work with a few students that I probably would not have worked with before. And um, it was just really awesome to meet with them and like hear their sides of the story. Um, reading the book was really cool. It was long, but it was really cool. And just getting to hear other people's ideas, even though we read the same exact book. One thing that I thought was not as impactful was our philosophy of teaching. I think you should still do it because this is something that they will use so much in their future. But I feel like it needs to be more in depth. Um, sometimes I was very confused on like what exactly I was supposed to write or how I was supposed to feel about what I was writing. And so just going more in depth with that assignment and talking about it more, we covered so many things that it can be hard to do that. Some of the things that I really enjoyed over the semester and I would like to leave with you guys 
is the topics that we talked about were really what good. That is something that I really loved in high school was my current events class. And so being able to talk about what's going on in the education system and how we're supposed to think about it, also hearing other people's opinions really helped me to uh, know my opinion on issues. The onion activity that we did was really cool and um, I think a lot of people liked it. It was always fun and exciting. Uh, we never knew what we were gonna do exactly that day, but it was just fun to meet new people. Uh, we were constantly interacting with others. And I loved having an accountability buddy and an accountability group. Just having that um, other position or having someone that I knew that if they weren't there, I could contact and if I didn't show up, they still cared that I was gone. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed this class. Um, I learned so much and I learned my passion that I want to have as a teacher. I learned um, different games, uh, strategies to use in a classroom. And I'm really excited to become a teacher. Thank you guys for teaching us.